A sync is short for synchronicity, and a synchronicity is a you know a highly meaningful coincidence. Um, I tend to believe that synchronicity is rather common. Uh, it's just sort of the way the world works. It's sort of the world just sort of talking to you and telling you what's going on, <laughs> updating you. It's sort of like updating your software, uh, you know, literally updating your software. Um, for me, a sync uh, is a supercharged, symbolically supercharged, meaningful coincidence. So, in other words. You can have significant uh, and you know synchronistic events like literally all day long if you begin to pay attention to them. If you if you look for them, you're going to find them because it's like I said, it's the way the world operates. It's the way consciousness operates. Um, but then it, you know there are like alerts. It's sort of like you know when you get these like amber alerts or silver alerts on your phone. It's like my, I sort of reserve sync, you know, there's sort of minor sinks, what I call guppies, and then there are major sinks where it's like, this is the alert, this is, you know, the, the, the alert broadcast system sending you a message that you really need to pay attention to. You know, it's funny that you would throw Amber Alert in there because we're going to have to pull that out and deal with that separately in terms of the manufactured alerts and the manufactured uh, entrainment that we get. But, you know, the, the thing I want to draw out on the sync is that I think a lot of people get the sync at the level that you were speaking about it right then in terms of, wow, the universe is sending me a message, 11, 11. And I'm not putting that down because I think that's real. But what you've done in a rather unique way is connect this idea to culture and that, you know, culture is both sending us these messages and then may have even been, I don't want to say co-opted, but engineered to cr create some messages that we might want to hear. Synchromysticism is a praxis. Um, there's a bit of controversy over who actually created the term. Um, I know that Goro Adachi was doing this work publicly uh, very early on. I had been doing it privately for at least 20 years now. But uh, synchromysticism is a praxis in which you study, uh, you're basically psychoanalyzing culture. You're, you're approaching culture as a Jungian ana uh, analyst. So you're looking, you're, you're, you're looking at this, uh, particularly pop culture, is pop culture is the collective dream. It's, it's the collective consciousness dreaming. Um, so you, you, analyze that you, you what is this culture saying you know what what symbols is it using is it using these symbols intentionally is it using them unintentionally i mean what can we divine from this bombardment this constant bombardment that we're receiving even when we sleep um you know how, how do we process this how do we make sense of this how is this being manipulated you know i i look through uh the, the manipulation of culture and the manipulation of symbolism um, through the lens of um, sympathetic magic. Now, I know a lot of people sort of see it in a sense of, um, you know, everything's a psyop and, and everything is just mind control. You know, and I'm not arguing that that, that certainly is, a, a, you know, very much a part of all this, but I see it more as um, a, a function of symp sympathetic magic. And sympathetic magic is when you try to um, appropriate, you know, the symbols and the themes of the power that you're trying to draw into yourself.